All right, here we are in 2021, and online uh, teaching and schooling is obviously still going on. And I think some of the frustrations, even though uh, some of us are getting a little bit better at it, I think we could all use uh, some help as parents. And thankfully, our next guest is here to do just that, uh, to help us um, kind of navigate this this world that we find ourselves continuing to be in. And joining us uh, is Dr. Michelle Frankich, a local adjunct professor, uh, many years in the education uh, field. And uh, a treat to have you here, Doctor. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. So, uh, again, I think there was a lot of, you know, big learning curves in 2020 where we were starting from scratch. I think now we've probably gotten a little bit more used to the, the fact that this is going to be going on for quite some time. But the frustrations, I don't think, uh, you know, are completely gone. What say you? Absolutely. That's one of the key factors I wanted to talk about today is the fact that our attitude in this situation has a direct impact on our child's success. So uh, check your attitude. I know we've all been thrusted into this situation. It's not a, a normal delivery of instruction. Many of our students are in online environments uh, and there's different environments for us to get acclimated to. So uh, see if you're projecting that attitude onto your child, make sure that it's positive and give them the support they need. Attitude's a real important factor. So yeah, you, you have four main points that you really wanted to encourage parents. Uh, and, and you said that these points too are really helpful no matter the, the age of the, the children, which I've come to learn it really is kind of separate. I mean, in elementary school going through online schooling is totally different than a high school student or even a college student. But let's talk about these four main points. One, you said attitude. attitude What's the next definitely. one? Uh, the next one is awareness. So become aware of the environment that your child is navigating in. Um, so some districts are using Canvas, some districts are using Moodle. Um, understand what the expectations are of the student, the teacher, and you as the parent. Depending on the age, the student might need some more assistance. But the fact that you're aware of the program, you understand if it's a synchronous situation where the child is interacting with the teacher, synchronously at the same time or is it an asynchronous situation where they're actually logging into a learning management system and and um, uploading assignments and turning in assignments and participating in discussions that way so attitude awareness is huge and then there's active and aptitude i like to to point out so yeah so, you talk about active engagement what is that so being actively actively engaged is is important in the success of your child and there's something called transactional distance and that's a theory um, that means it's the distance between the instructor and the student and that gap can cause frustration and it can cause um, some issues in the delivery of instruction so if your instructor bridges that gap with constant actively engaging activities and constant communication whether it's discussion forums or a synchronous conversation like we're having here, um, that can that can reduce that that frustration and that challenge in the environment. But also the parents have a responsibility to be actively engaged in the child's education, whether we send them off to school in a physical environment or if they're actually interacting with the with this uh, instructor remotely. We need to ask questions. We should be emailing the teacher. Um, being in close contact with the teacher, and then even in the evening at the dinner table, bring up the student's uh, lesson that day. Become involved in the conversations and the terminology. Set up a reward system. Uh, many parents uh, found that the schedule was kind of crazy to get acclimated and to get used to. So setting up a structure for your child at home and then rewarding them at the end of the week, or even if it's a younger child, on a daily basis by giving them rewards, um, that could uh, reduce frustration and increase their academic excellence. Yeah, I love that. All right, less than a minute left, about 30 seconds probably. What's that last point? That last point is aptitude. And some of us are naturally inclined to be able to navigate in these environments. Others of us have no ability to be comfortable or confident. So my recommendation here would be to learn about the environment if they're using Canvas or if they're in Zoom, understand the tools so that you can be able to support your child and to build that confidence in them. Empower yourself to be able to support them, get used to those tools and environments and, and get all the information that you can. Awesome, all right, 10 seconds. What's your take home for parents as we, again, kind of go through this last, 
this or next semester, I should say. Uh, hang in there. Um, we're all, you know, we're all in it together. Network with each other. There's Facebook forums. There's courses you can take. There's information out there. I know yesterday I found a new virtual learning environment myself, went in, went to the website, Googled it, and I was able to practice myself. So get the information and be a positive support for your child. All right. It comes down to attitude. Thank you so much, Dr. Michelle Frankich. We really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Take care.